than halfway through the decade, we'd already seen some incredible television. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 decade-defining TV shows of the first half of the 2010s. Money. Claire was feeling bad because she wants to hit her own children. So I tried to make her feel better by inventing terrible things about you. For our series on the top decade-defining shows per era, we picked series that spoke to the period in which they were made and set the standard for television during that time. Within the first 100 days of this administration. These shows were chosen for how important they were in the 2010s, regardless of when they started or finished. However, we left out shows like True Detective that are still in their infancy, because we want to see more of them before we decide how great they really are. Hello, Sheldon. Come on in. Number 10, The Big Bang Theory. This seat is ideally located both in relation to the heat source in the winter and a cross breeze in the summer. It also faces the television at a direct angle, allowing me to immerse myself in entertainment or gameplay without being subjected to conversation. As a result, I've placed it in a state of eternal dibs. You don't have to be a nerd to enjoy this sitcom, but it probably helps. It centers on four geeky, socially awkward scientists and their relationship with Penny, the gorgeous waitress who lives across the hall from two of them. Enjoying high ratings since its debut, The Big Bang Theory is a syndication darling whose success has only increased with time. Can I sleep here tonight? Why? That is having astronomically inaccurate Star Trek sex with my sister. <laughs> I can see how that would be upsetting. Come in. The show's clever references to science and sci-fi are hilarious and make the Chuck Lorre series unique. And the excellent cast chemistry, ensemble of actors, and killer cameos hold it all together. Uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm looking for uh, Sheldon Cooper's apartment. Oh, I bet you're here to check out the room for rent. Yeah. Run away, dude. <laughs> what? Run fast, run far. <laughs> Number nine. Sherlock. So you're Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> all he's told me all about you. This BBC series proves that even though the books that inspired this detective show were written over a hundred years ago, the stories still resonate in a modern setting. The British crime drama brings Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's brainiac sleuth. Is that it? And his crime-solving adventures with his milk toast sidekick Watson into the 21st century. And the results are thrilling. It's brilliant. The intricate mysteries are fascinating to watch being unraveled. Beautiful, isn't it? And we can't get enough of Benedict Cumberbatch's star-making performance as the titular investigator. I play the violin when I'm thinking. Sometimes I don't talk for days on. And would that bother you? Potential flatmates should know the worst about each other. Number eight, community. Well, you've heard all kinds of things. You've heard it's loser college for remedial teens, 20-something dropouts, middle-aged divorcees, and old people keeping their minds active as they circle the drain of eternity. Though this cult comedy is constantly on the verge of extinction, you wouldn't know it from how hilarious and witty it is. The Dan Harmon show intersperses meta-humor and pop culture references into its depiction of students at a California community college. Makes sense. Making it feel unlike any series we've ever seen. And if I wanted to learn something, I wouldn't have come to community college. Even after losing hysterical actors like Donald Glover. Yeah, what a relief. Looks like someone narrowly avoided a lifestyle mistake of their own. Stalwarts like Joel McHale and Alison Brie kept the ensemble strong. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you, little twerk. We're still hoping for six seasons and a movie. It seems less than impossible. Number seven. House of Cards. I never make such big decisions so long after sunset and so far from dawn. This political drama is notable for being the first big original series on Netflix, but it would have merited a spot on our list regardless of how it had been distributed. A strong supporting cast has helped the show nab award nominations aplenty, including a Golden Globe for Robin Wright. What you said had some truth. But Kevin Spacey gives an unforgettable turn as Frank Underwood, a ruthless Republican politician who's willing to do anything for power. Cry havoc, said he who fought chaos with chaos, and let slip the dogs of war. The strong writing ensures that he always has interesting things to say, especially when he's delivering soliloquies directly into the camera. What? Moments like this require someone who will act, who will do the unpleasant thing, the necessary thing. Number six, 
Modern Family. You have to appreciate nature. Yes. Soon this will be the mall. I'll come then. Families in the 21st century look very different than they once did. And true to its name, this sitcom memorably portrays contemporary clans. There's nothing gays hate more than when people, people treat, treat us like, like women. women. We're not. We don't want to go to your baby shower. We don't have a time of the month. We don't love pink. You love pink. No, pink loves me. Its mockumentary style is the perfect form for depicting the lives of three related families in suburban LA. The ensemble cast is outstanding from top to bottom, though we particularly love the cool dad, Phil. I, like a lot of men in this town, enjoy making love to my wife. I mean, um... Their witty banter is just as entertaining as it is insightful and ensured the show nabbed tons of awards, critical acclaim, and viewers galore. So, who wants to come with me to the Spoken Word Festival this evening? I only have two tickets, so somebody's gonna be disappointed. I think it's gonna be you. Hi, Manny, I will go with you, but I'm so tired. You just woke up, how are you tired? Maybe because I'm turning food into a human. Number five, Boardwalk Empire. You know whose load this is? It's pretty f***ing obvious now, ain't it? We wouldn't want to have lived during Prohibition, but it sure makes for an entertaining setting for this crime drama. Earning 18 primetime Emmy nods in its first season alone, this HBO show has received widespread critical acclaim. As you say. After years as a supporting actor, Steve Buscemi finally got a starring role as Nucky Thompson, a corrupt politician who colludes with mobsters You couldn't possibly be so cruel. and others in the interest of acquiring power. Doesn't that worry you? The gorgeous period set design is the perfect backdrop for the compelling interactions between him and the rest of the stellar cast. There's no one else in all the world. Number four, Mad Men. Oh no, it's a blitz! Oh. Punch in on Namath, he says something like... The secret to victory on the road is Samsonite. I carry it because it's tough, and no matter what comes at me, I know I'm protected. This was the first series after AMC's formatting change to prove the channel knew how to do original content. He's not making this up. A romantic period drama about people who work in advertising, it's the most fun you'll ever have in a history lesson. You know what gets you over something like that? Drinking. And the beautiful costumes bring the 1960s setting to life. You still think you're better than me? But of course, it's the people wearing them who drive the show, particularly Don Draper, played with remarkable charisma by John Hamm. It's me. His tumultuous life never fails to keep us entertained, and it has tugged at our heartstrings more than a few times. How could you do that to me? Don't be afraid, okay? Little girl. Number three, The Walking Dead. Though zombie stories have been told many times, this series manages to provide a fresh take on the genre. Another success for AMC, The Walking Dead is as popular with critics as it is in the ratings. Adapted from Robert Kirkman's comic book series of the same name, the show depicts the lives of a group of survivors of a zombie apocalypse, led by the courageous sheriff's deputy, Rick Grimes. Have you noticed? That's all we talk about anymore. Their struggles to cooperate make up much of the drama. But it's the impressively gruesome zombie action that really gets us. Number two, Game of Thrones. You're almost there. And you're afraid you won't make it. The sheer scale of this fantasy adaptation would be enough for it to make our list. My greatest accomplishment. But its unpredictable plot twists and compelling characters put it over the top. Based on George R. R. Martin's novels, this HBO drama set viewership records, won multiple awards, and is consistently the most pirated show online. I have come to make my apologies, my lord and to beg your forgiveness. Whether it's the battles in the North or power struggles in King's Landing, the show has a wealth of strong stories. Though we hate seeing our favorite characters die. Sir Illin, bring me his head. We know that equally awesome ones will take their place. TV has never been this epic. The battle is over. We have won. Before we unveil our pick for decade-defining show of the first half of the 2010s, 
Here are a few honorable mentions. Madam, wake up. Ladyship's homecoming, but what are we going to do about Mrs. Patmore? She's worse than when you left. Much worse. We're standing in there with two cabinet secretaries, a couple of joint chiefs, head of defense intelligence. I'm just a platoon sergeant. Well, we don't know what have means, but enjoy all the things that you need, like we do. So we start killing all of them. <laughs> And they were like, oh, dude, could you not do that part where you kill all of us? Because that's kind of a drag for us. Oh, I dug Emma out with my own hands! <sighs> it was too late. Hey, Chapman, are you Chapman? Yes. Red says she made that special for you. Wow, thanks. Tell her he said thanks. I don't say nothing, I'm just working. Next. Number one, Breaking Bad. Oh, the hell did we just walk into? As much as we grew to hate Walter White over this AMC show's five seasons, we had to put his series on top. Is there something wrong with your table? Okay, Ionic Bonds. He's a high school chemistry teacher who starts cooking meth with his former student, Jesse, to provide for his family after he's diagnosed with cancer. I'm thinking, Maybe you and I could partner up. Unsurprisingly, he gets in over his head. Though what's rough for him is riveting for us. How could you keep this a secret? Brian Cranston does an incredible job of portraying both Walt's tenderness and his ferocity. I liked it. I was good at it. All that made this the highest rated show ever, as well as an awards juggernaut whose finale did not disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> do you agree with our list? Yeah. What TV show do you think best defined the first half of the 2010s? But what we're trying to achieve is exactly the same thing. For more memorable top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Hey, Abed, your girlfriend will meet you at the flagpole in 10 minutes. Goodbye. Goodbye.